quick disclaimer, the techniques shown in this video are for educational purposes only. Performing these actions in public or without authorization is illegal. This is a simplified demonstration. For in-depth details about this, please refer to the article link in the description. Use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Hey, are you one of the early adopters that has this original Wi-Fi dev board? Well, it cost $29 back then, and for an extra $7, which is $36, you can get this board. And this has this functionality, this, this, and all of the antenna, $37. Let's dive in. Okay, so this is our really really wonderful development board and i've laid out all of the modules that are included here so that you can appreciate all of the things that are attached in here and the first one is an esp32 module as you can see this is the standalone one this is the integrated one the next one is an sd card module second is an NRF24 module. This is how it looks like. And lastly, the CC1100 module. And this is how it looks like. Now the next one that we're gonna take a look at are all of the buttons that are in here so that you will know. Okay, so the first one that I want to show you. So let's plug it in really quick. So it has a USB-C. First one I want to show you is this um, switch. So when the color is red, it is in NRF24 mode. When it is green, it is ESP32 mode. And when it is in blue, it is CC1100 one. So meaning, if you are doing any of those NRF24 sniffing, like sniffing those 2.4 gigahertz type of thing, keyboard, mouse, this is what you do. When you are doing the ESP32 Marauder attacks on the Wi-Fi, this is the mode that you want to be in. And if you are doing those sub gigahertz listening attack, this is where you want to put it color blue. Now at the back, you will be seeing an RX and TX. So that is being used on the CC1100. So if it's an RX, meaning there is an amplification of the receiving signal, a few receiving signals. And if it's on TX, there's an amplification of you or transmitting signals. Okay, so and the antenna, you have the RF antenna, LF, and the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is, since this is just an ESP32 Wi-Fi dev board, like the original, you can install the Marauder firmware here. So, go to the Wi-Fi mode, which is the second one. Click the boot button while you plugged in the USB-C. So if you've done it correctly, it will be colored green. And you are now entering the firmware mode and you can now flash it. So let's go to the screen. Okay, now once plugged in, all you have to do is click connect ESP32 S2. Okay, so as you can see, it has now connected successfully. You'll just have to select the board. And it is a Flipper Zero dead board. Version latest firmware marauder. Let's click erase just to be sure. And wait. Okay. Now that the erasing process is done, you can now click Program, which installs the Marauder firmware in your ESP32. Nice, and now we can try it out. Now let's try out the board. So before 
like all of the dev board before you put it on the flipper zero make sure that the flipper zero is turned off and you plug in the board okay so now you have the board here let's turn it on now the first thing that we're gonna check is the sub gigahertz so sub gigahertz would be cc 1100 let's go to color blue and let's go to sub gigahertz and when you click read as you can see here there would be an ext now ext means that it is using an external antenna for the functionality of reading the sub gigahertz signal okay so the next thing that i will be demoing is the esp32 marauder so go to color green which is the second mode go to apps gpio esp and the wi-fi marauder okay so let's just do a simple attack which is the recrawl okay so recrawl let me open my cell phone and let's check out the wi-fi okay so it is scanning and let's see searching for network okay so as you can see there's one and it will be populating the other one but you can see there's this never gonna give you up never gonna tell a lie and later it will see all of those lyrics and last the one that i will be showing you is let's go to the nrf mode which is the red one and go to apps again go to gpio and nrf24 nrf24 as you can see there's a sniffer there's a scanner there's a mouse tracker so just a quick explanation of nrf24 attacks what you'll be doing is you'll be doing some sniffing okay so when, when it is sniffing if there is a vulnerable device like a keyboard or mouse what it will do is it will be it will show that it is found and based on that you can run docu script on on that device so for example it's a mouse then you can run docu script as if your flipper zero is connected now if you don't have an nrf24 this scanning will not happen so right now yes this is now successfully sniffing meaning that the nrf24 module on this board is actually working and as you have seen the aio board 1.4 really does bring a significant upgrade to the flipper zero and just for an extra dollar you're getting a ton of added functionality like the sd card cc 1101 and nrf24 modules and if you're serious about exploring the full potential of your flipper zero this is definitely a worthwhile investment and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to check out my other videos here on hakista tv till next time my fellow hakista